All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking in. Today we're showing you the new Billitron carburetor from Lectron. If you're new to Lectron carburetors, if you haven't learned too much about these, they're pretty freaking cool. And what makes these so popular is that they are self-adjusting. And they do that by using their metering, metering rod technology, which we're gonna talk about here shortly. So along with that self-adjusting, what I mean by that is that gone are the days where you gotta worry about your pilot jet, your main jet, your needle jet, all the things that you're typically trying to adjust to get your bike jetted correctly, you don't have to worry about with these because there's no jets on an electron carburetor. So if you're gonna be riding at different elevations, maybe you're at sea level, you're gonna go right up in the mountains at eight, 9,000 feet, maybe temperature change or humidity, all those things that you typically have to factor in, you don't have to worry about those with the Electron, and that's what makes it so popular. It's almost, for the most part, not quite, but almost a full plug and play carburetor where you just install it on your motorcycle, you go out and you have a good time. So we'll talk about that metering rod technology. Now, this being the new Billitron, they've made a quite a few changes to this as well. We're gonna cover those after we talk about the metering rod. So if you're familiar with Electron carburetors, but you wanna know what's changed and what they've done to make this even better from just you know, installing it, working on it, also performance wise, we're gonna get to that also. So stick around because we got a lot to talk about with this new carburetor. So first and foremost, fitment. This is important to know if this is gonna fit your motorcycle. It is simple. Just enter the year, make and model of your bike on the product page. That will let you know that if this is going to fit your bike. So just be sure to do that, you'll be good. But let's talk about the metering rod technology first because this is the big so what with these carburetors. Like I mentioned, self-adjusting, and here is how that works. You've got your slide, and then the metering rod is just what's gonna take the place of your standard needle that you would have in your jet. But you notice here, looking at it though, see how it's flat on this side and it's tapered? Well, the flat side is what's gonna be facing the engine, and the other side is just round. And the best way to describe how this works, and I talked about this in my other Electron video, is like an eddy in a river and a lot of us have seen this before. If you're going down a river and there's a rock right there in the middle, the river hits the rock, it wraps around it, and then the, the water will actually go back towards the rock on the other side, creating what they call an eddy. And that's just physics. And that's essentially how this is working. As the air is coming through the carburetor, it hits the back side of this mirroring rod, which is round. The wind goes around there and it creates that eddy on the other side. And what that does is actually pulls fuel up from the float bowl. And what's cool, and again, this is just talking about physics, is that depending on the elevation, you know, things like the humidity, the temperature, all those things factored in, those will determine basically how strong the eddy is on the other side, on the chamfer side. And so it'll pull either more or less fuel up that metering rod. And that's why it's self-adjusting because you don't have to really worry about anything. Now that being said, yes, self-adjusting, but there are some things that you can fine tune on this carburetor to get it to run exactly how you want it to. So first of all, with the metering rod, if you need to, you can go in and actually turn the metering rod and fine tune that. And something that's new with this new Billitron version is that it used to be you could do quarter turn increments, now you can actually do eighth of a turn. And there's actually a metering rod tool that will come included, and that's what you use to adjust this. You just wanna remember though that if you do turn the metering rod in or out, you always gotta remember that the flat side needs to be facing the engine. And the way you do that is that after you turn the metering rod, if you simply just push up on it, it will allow you to rotate it so it's facing forward again. So just make sure it's always in that orientation if you do adjust that. But that's your metering rod. And then when you get to the actual carburetor itself, a few other things. So you have a power jet that is right up here on top. This used to be up here on the top of the carburetor, which made it kind of difficult to get to. Now it's here on the side. And what the power jet adjustment does is you gotta think about kind of half throttle and wide open. So from half throttle to wide open, when you're doing that, you need a lot of fuel coming through. And so that power jet is just gonna help get more fuel coming up from the float bowl in those situations. And then lastly, you do have an idle screw on here. Something new with the idle screw, idle screw for the Billitron is that they use the finer pitch thread, which just allows you to get a little bit more adjustability. And the example that they gave me is that on the previous generation, one full turn is actually gonna be equivalent to about one and a third on this, new, on this new thread pitch, because it's finer. So you're just allowing you to tweak it and fine tune it just a little bit more than the previous generation. Okay, so those are kind of the big, those are the adjustments that you can make with this. Now, on top of the changes that I just talked about, let's just go over what's new with the Billitron and some of the performance gains that they're saying that you're getting from this new version as well. So first of all, new choke. 
more of like your OEM style choke to say the durability is going to be better, it's going to be more consistent. And again, that's just going to be on the other side as well. So again, a little bit easier to get to. They change the size of this. So it's also a little bit shorter. It's a little bit, or sorry, the height is going to be a little bit shorter. It's not as long front to back as well. So they did that just to make it have better fitment with all the motorcycles that are out there that's going to work for. So it's going to be the same length front to back as most of your OEM carburetors. So you don't have to change your air boot, anything like that. It's just gonna drop right in. And the height, being that's a little bit shorter, makes it a little bit easier to work on if you need to pull the slide out to get to that metering rod. And that's another big update, is that the slide now, you're just gonna use your OEM throttle cable. You don't have to have a different throttle cable, which is gonna be a big perk for a lot of people. So overall, they've just made this thing easier to work on. Another big update, if you look at the bottom here, this has been around for a while, the clear float bowl, which a lot of people really like, so you can always see how much fuel is in there, but they're using a different plastic, which they say is more clear, so easier to see through, and it's stronger. So just overall durability, they improved there. They also listened to the public and they put a drain on the bottom of the float bowl. So if you're gonna be maybe parking your bike for a while, or maybe you're gonna be pulling the carb off to do some work or whatever, you can just drain all the fuel right out of the bottom there, which is pretty cool. The slide on it is updated, so it is an H-style slide. And what's cool is that the coating on this is a new coating, which they say you're not going to wear this coating off. It's incredibly durable, and they just say, say it's just going to give a smoother action. So you've got the slide update on there. And then the other big update is from a performance standpoint. One aspect about the electron carburetors that people really like is how smooth it is, and that's because of that metering rod. So, you know, all the way through the power curve, it's a very linear power that you're getting. But, and this was kind of interesting, so talking to the guys at Electron, they were very honest with me, and they said that an OEM carburetor that is jetted is just right is actually a little bit more responsive and has a little bit more, you know, hit right off of throttle. And that was the one complaint that this said riders had about their older, their previous generation, is that they, they loved how smooth and how good the power was throughout the power curve. They just felt like they were giving up just a little bit right off of throttle. So what they did to remedy that is the bell and bore is more aggressive. And so by doing that, they say that they're able to increase and just get better throttle response right off the bottom, but still maintaining that good linear power curve all the way throughout. So those are like kind of the performance power gains that you're getting with the new Billitron. So in a nutshell, like I said, with this carburetor, they're expensive. We're talking about 600 bucks here, but when you look at all the things that I just talked about, not having to you know, go out and try and rejet your carburetor depending on where you're gonna be riding. If you have a carburetor right now where it's just finicky for you and you just don't like working on it or maybe you don't wanna to have to deal with it, for those reasons that I just explained, that's what makes electron carburetor so awesome. So if that is something that you're interested in, it could be a really good upgrade for you. We even did a video where we took a Husqvarna 150. We we're having a hard time getting that bike jetted correctly, especially up here at elevation. We slapped one of the previous generation carburetors on there and right out of the box, we put it on, made zero adjustments, and the bike ran awesome. And now you've got the Billitron, which is an updated version of that, so it can only get better. If you do have questions or comments about this, we would love to get those answered, so make sure leave those in the comments section below. If you are running an Electron carburetor, especially the new Billitron, I would love to hear your feedback. Comment below, what bike do you have it on? What have you liked about it? You know, even your dislikes. Did you make any tweaks to it once you had it on the bike or did you just throw it on there and you're out there ripping, having a good time? We want to hear all that feedback, so make sure to leave that below. To grab one for your bike, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you like this product spotlight and you want to see more like it, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and that'll keep you up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.